Yeah, there are about mandatory evacuations for about a thousand homeowners. And if you take a look at the street right here, you can see part of the concern. There's been so much mud flowing into roads that some neighborhoods have actually been cut off. It sounded like thunder. Mud and debris flowing like a river down this flood channel in Lake Elsinore. Homeowners were surprised by just how quickly the conditions became dangerous. But I was inside listening, and all of a sudden it started coming down, and I was like, uh oh, I think things are going to change. Ashley Sheffield was already ready to evacuate her home. She had packed her car earlier in the day, not wanting to take any chances with her kids. Oh, I can't take their safety, you know, it, lightly. I have to, I have to get out. So. We'll go and hang out for a while, and hopefully, it will be a short period of time. Many who live in the Holy Fire burn area say they've been packed for a while, knowing that storms could come at any moment. Most of our stuff is moved out and in storage, anyways, so any, anything we have of value is not even in the house. But we just keep to go bags all over the place, so I keep everything important in bags right by the front door. Still, many thought the rain wouldn't be that big a problem today. That's why schools were in session, forced to let students out early when the storm worsened in the early afternoon. I don't think they should have been in school today. <laughs> I think it's kind of silly. Luckily, there haven't been any reports of injuries, but several streets have flooded. Crews trying to clear the streets now and make sure homeowners can get out before the inevitable next round of storms. And we continue to see crews plowing these roads all over here, but this, they, they still say they don't know if more rain is going to fall and more debris flows might happen. And that's why they're saying if you got those evacuation orders, please leave. Do not wait. Live in Lake Elsinore, Tina Patel, CBS 2 News.